With Splatoon being as fast-paced as it is, trades are really common. That is, a fight happening where a player goes down on each side. Not all trades are created equal. First of all, a trade is most likely to go in favor of whoever likes the status quo, the way things currently are. Whoever has map control before the trade is almost certainly who has map control after the trade. But that's not the whole story. A trade is actually advantageous to the team that likes the status quo. It doesn't just maintain their position, it usually improves it. A 3v4 isn't ideal, but it's not so difficult with that many players on the disadvantaged team to isolate someone and turn the game into a 3v3. If the three have specials and the four don't, I honestly give them the advantage. But after three one-for-one -one trades, the situation is 0v1. You can't possibly play the objective while they can, and now your team has to swim all the way in from spawn while their team can super jump into the one remaining player and skip that whole process. In a 1v2, that's two of them for every one of you, while in a 3v4, there's only one and a third of them for every one of you. This is part of why you're incentivized to go for more aggressive plays when you have a numbers advantage and why you need to be really careful about committing to any kind of engagement if it's not at least even.